So here's the um, runner. I've removed the ram, ram horn um, header on this thing. Uh, I'm going to replace a couple things on it. Um, you'll see the fuel there. After I started it, I realized that the header wasn't tightened down far enough, and then I got to thinking about it, pulled the header off, and realized that I don't want to use the cork. There's nothing wrong with the cork. The cork works. Um, this is how uh, Gary makes them, and they run. Uh, they run fine. I am going to replace the cork with this bar here, right? Um, Gary makes these as well. And that is, um, those metal bars are more um, in line with the original uh, Conley design. That's what he used. And then I'll use some Copperhead Gasket Maker to make my gaskets. Um, then I get a nice tight seal. So I'm going to be removing this. And the reason I'm removing it also has to do with I'm going to replace the connectors. Here are the ones that come on the engine. And again, they're fine. Um, but I want to use um, these. Um, I find that they, um, this is a personal preference. Again, this is more like what Connie was doing. Um, and so I, I like the secureness of this, uh, the way they grab hold to the, um, to the plug. Uh, there's, a, there's a little give here, right? Between the uh, with the plug and the wire. Let me back up a little bit so you can see that. And I like that. Um, and I know that I don't have to worry about this coming into contact with the plug the wrong way. I don't have to worry about any grounding out, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace these um, more later. So I want to see just how these fit. Yeah, I'm looking at this here. It's gotta come off. So I've connected my first one, um, <clears throat> made the splice, and I'm holding all of these shrink wraps a little high here. Uh, once I get them all spliced into place, then I'll bring the shrink wrap down, cover it up, uh, heat it up a little bit, and this will give me a little flexibility, right? And I'll be able to bend this into exactly the shape I want once I put the um, that plate back on there, right? That flange plate and the header. Then I'll know exactly how I want these to bend up where, and it should look nice with all that covered up and bent into place. More later. So, spliced. Gonna go ahead and get the um, solder going. I'll slide these down on top, and then I'll get to work on um, the plate for this one and also the manifold. Okay, <clears throat> I like this setup. Clean, secure, that looks good to me. Uh, next I'll try the plate, see if it fits, and uh, put it back together. So here I am on this side, putting the O-rings in. Okay, I've got the plate in place. Got some gasket maker behind there. Um, Got my O-rings in there. And I'm gonna, next I'm gonna put this, um, i put the ram horns on it. Okay, now I've got really good seal. My manifold, my block. All right, 